Alrighty, Jimmy boy, because I had a house on tour, you're gonna have to give me the scoop on the other houses, and tell me all about the yummy food. And tell me, everything, that you talked about in the car, too. Of course, Wendy, I will do that. I will be happy to tell you about everything I observed, tasted, and heard in the car. Okay, which house did you see first? Wait a minute. First, tell me the configuration of how everyone was seated in the car. Why do you want? Never mind. Okay. Of course, Randy was driving. We put Verla in the front seat to experience Randy's driving from the scary perspective. Gloria and I were in the next row. And Gary and Shuri were in the back row. Got it. Okay, which house was first? Judy's house was first. 209. One of those townhouses off of Old Knee. Very clean and nice wood floors. Judy kept talking about how so many things were remote that she couldn't keep track. Remote? What do you mean, remote? I don't know. Awnings and shades or something. What I remember is that it was neat and clean. And although the yard was small, it was nice. Probably a good price, too. Okay. Food. Now, what about the food? Not that it is important to me, because you know it is not, but Judy usually has good food. And today was no exception. Nothing fancy, but a nice variety of finger sandwiches. Handmade by her, of course. A homemade pasta salad that was delish. And homemade chocolate chip cookies. I swiped too to bring back to the office. You know, Judy stopped by my listing after she left hers. She's awesome. Yes, awesome. Awesome, indeed. Indeed. What was next? Sandra was at the ball team's listing on Valair. A split for 249. It had new carpet, a big yard and a potpourri of lighting fixtures. Ah. Huh? What the heck do you mean a potpourri of lighting fixtures? None of them matched. Some kind of interesting, though, in a retro kind of way. Is the price good? The consensus from our car was that it was a little high. Even though it had new carpeting, it was dated. But... She made Tina's shrimp. Good job of it, too. It was so good, that if I stayed any longer, she would probably have run out. Actually, I'll bet she ran out if she had many more cars of agents come through. It looked like there wasn't a lot to go around. Next? Beth Allen's listing on Conifer Park. A two-story for 280. Five bedrooms, 2,400 plus square feet. Mostly a typical house you'd see in Conifer Park, but it had an awesome family-ish room off the kitchen. Awesome? Awesome. It also was clean. Decent yard, too. Was it a good price? Don't ask me. What about the food? Basic. Veggies and dips with a couple of almonds in a bowl. Did she forget to take off her jammies again? No jammies today. Good. Okay, I guess that leaves my house. No. Before we went to your house, we stopped by Cherie's new listing on Amberly. Oh. Before you tell me about Amberly, tell me what you talked about in the car. Oh yeah. You want gossip? It was on our way to Amberley that Gary was badgering Shuri about, Vince. What did Shuri have to say about Vince? Shuri is being very conservative about what she says about Vince. Good move on her part, if you know what I mean. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Anyway, Amberley is a nice listing. It's a nice house in a great neighborhood with a very nice yard. But you'll see it on tour in a couple of weeks, and you can judge for yourself. I will, indeed. Okay, what did you think of my waterfront on Beach Drive? My kind of listing, as you know. I really like all the character that house has. It reminds me of a guest house. I think it would make a great getaway. And the waterfront is very attractive. Very, 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 very attractive indeed. Indeed. Yes, indeed. And not that this is at all important, but you had the best food. Your breakfast casserole was scrumped delicious. Really? 
One more thing, Jimmy boy. Why the Easter egg set? Oops. I meant to change that before I published this movie. Oops, indeed. Bye-bye. <laughs>